Hello and welcome to Let's Play Distant Worlds Universe as a Pirate Faction. I've heard a lot of requests for playing as a pirate, so here we go. Um, first of all, here's some of the setup. The team I'm using is my own tech on the Extended Universe by Harry um, and a few other things, uh, notably Syrian's resource mod the green message mod and the north south mod. Uh, basically what they do is change the resource icons just a little bit, um, some of the, the pop-up icons just a little bit and um, stop the siren um, sound when there's an event. I will add links to these if I can um, under the video. The option we're playing with uh, mostly everything um, is manual uh, except for the ship design which I keep on because that will allow the, um, the automatic ship um, designs to be created uh, research just in case I forgot to do some research and colony populations everything else uh, suggested or controlled manually So let's start a new game. And we'll play a custom game as the pirate faction. Um, let's play an even clusters. These are fairly interesting since it limits the ability for colonizations and things. Um, it makes the empires a little bit more. Um, uh, uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult for the empires to to expand rapidly. Everything else is set as default. Um, you, know, you can pause this and look at all of these if you want. Um, and we want the destroy pirates do not respawn just because it gets really really annoying at the end of the game when you destroy a pirate's faction and they spawn elsewhere um, with a single base and, and two little ships. Um, that really cannot do anything. As far as the colonizations and um, territory, territorial uh, settings, uh, I leave everything as default um, except for the enforced range limit. Uh, we set it two sectors. Uh, I'm not sure what the default is, um, but this also stopped the uh, AI from just colonizing across the galaxy. As for the race, um, I don't think it matters all that much as far as be playing as a pirate. The uh, Some of these bonuses are nice um, and I picked the ex-humans after going through the whole list just because um, they have, uh, I, I don't know how uh, well this worked, but they have more chance of generating colony governor and uh, intelligent agents. Uh, not as much as some of the other races. But this seems to be a nice um, balanced set of um, bonuses. And we will just play a balanced pirate um, at a random p position and see how it goes. Everything else is pretty much standard. And Let's go ahead and go for the complete total uh, domination. So we probably will call victory when we control everything or defeat when we get destroyed. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I haven't played Distant World Universe in a long time, so that this could, could be very, very interesting. Let's start the game. This may take a little bit, my computer is very very old um, but everything should work just fine I'll go ahead and pause the recording until this uh, step finishes and here we are welcome to our empire so with the ex-human pirate the sinister confederation and the 
condition to win is to win everything. So, so first thing first, what I like to do is to go ahead and save this game right at the start. This way, when I need to go back or when I want to go back and replay something, I have that option. And the other thing to do is to zoom out and see where we are in the galaxy. And we see we have an empire next to us already. And nothing else that we can that um, and a uh, also a um, independence that we we can see. So first of all, let's go and see what we have. Of course, we start out at a gas giant because we need gas giant to um, to fuel everything. And we have, let's look at the ship screen. So we roll. We have a few gas mining stations. One spaceport, one construction ship, ship, two exploration ship, a few freighters, two escort, escort a resupply ship and two mining ships. A few things to do immediately because we are going to run out of money very 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 quickly um, because as a pirate we do not have any kind of income uh, from the get-go. We have to get the empires to pay us otherwise we are not going to uh, make any money. So let's see if we know anybody. So we know one. And let's see if we, we can arrange a protection arrangement. And they do. Um, and they do want that, which is good. So that is really, really, really nice because that way we don't fight against one another um, and we will try not to raid them and we will try to protect them from other attacks which we will have to do soon. The other thing to do is I would like to go in and redesign all my ships. First of all, let's put them all in automatic just in case um, you know, there are new ones coming in and let's just go so show latest design and turn everything on to automatic until they become available now the other thing to do is that we need to be able to get minerals and things very quickly and the best thing uh, the best way to do that is to design the uh, private ships if you will the uh, uh, the gas miner and the, um, the, the the regular mining ships and what I tend to do is to redesign these to have very 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 small cargo and just quick which they are so far they are um, fairly quick and cheap and if you look at the uh, construction summary we require 
silicon, gold, polymer, carbon fiber, helium, steel, aquilon, lead, iridium, and chromium. A lot of steel. So let's see if we can optimize this a little bit. With both a mining engine and a luxury resource extractor. We produce a lot of excess energy, so let's go ahead and take one of those out. That reduces our hyperspace speed down quite a bit. So let's go ahead and add that back to see. So from 12,500 down to 7,300, so about two thirds. That might not seem to be worth it, to be honest. So let's leave these alone for now. Let's look at this one. This is very similar. So let's leave these alone as well. The next thing is to look at the freighters. these are fine. I'm not going to worry about these so much. Not yet anyway. What I might do immediately is to design some of the... Um, create a new spaceport that allow me to expand quickly. So in order to do that, I will copy the small space for it. And we will call this an outpost. The idea is that this is as frail as can be. Um, and it will have very, very little of everything. Uh, we can build it quickly and we can use it to claim our territory quickly um, without the uh, rival gangs or empires being able to uh, um, attack it so it is, has some firepower uh, just enough to take care of one or two escorts and Otherwise, it will be very, very uh, cheap to build. So first of all, we do not need lab components because we're not doing any kind of research in these these outposts. So let's take those out. Take one of the gas extractor out. Take most of the cargo base out. Most of the construction yard out. Most of the shielding out. A very low shield. Most of the docking base out. A lot of 
missiles. A lot, lot, lot of railguns. I'll keep one fighter bay just so that we can use that to chase after the, the ships and things. And given all that we can reduce this quite a bit because we have um, an excess of about 200. So go ahead and cut that down. One more. That's actually too much. So let's add one back. Take some of these out. From there, let's take some half modules out. One more. One more. Nope. One half module back. out to match. We don't need recreational or Medicaid medical centers at this stage. And we do not need a tractor beam at this stage. Take that out. So this is the basic layout. However, the other thing that I would like to do is to make this um, Star Bay to be operational as soon as possible. And in order to do that, you want to build the components in the right order. And the order that you can build these in, uh, of course, you need a command center, HAPS, and life support for anything to be operational, and then you need energy. Uh, so What I like to do is build them in order. So we want the command center. We want to have an, an, an life module. Then the next things I like to build are the shields. So I'll go ahead and remove the five shields and re-add them at the bottom. Do the, the same to everything so that they will end up um, building, being built in the right order. And once the shield is up, what it will need are the reactors to, in order to power it. So we go ahead and add three reactors, and then the energy collector, three of those as well. What that allows us to do is once the first energy collector is online, it will um, collect energies and store in the reactors, and then the shield can use that immediately. The next one is the eight fuel cell, which I might just go ahead and add. Um, five then because we don't need that many right now. That's in the storage. Add five. And let's go ahead and add a gas extractor immediately just in case we are orbiting a gas giant. That way we can have um, we can have uh, fuel to ourselves as soon as we can. Extractor, one of those. And then in order to defend itself, add some weapons. So five concussion missile and five railgun. have a fighter bay to produce
police and fighters. And then I'd like to add the salt pot. Four of those. In order to keep uh, the base from being invaded or raided by rival pirate gangs. So next we'll add the armors. Actually the armor should probably be uh, before some of these but for now let's add it after the assault uh, pots. So add 30 of those. Then let's add the docking bay and, an, and a commerce center. So one docking bay. Center. So I think those are under component. Uh, no. Storage. Let's add two of the docking bays just in case we can. And uh, com comma center back. Then the last things um, are the uh, construction. So uh, construction yard, energy plan, high tech plans, and so on. And the resource profile uh, sensor. So that's the construction yard. Weapon plant, high tech plant, energy plant. And the resource profile set. So now, if you look at the um, construction summary. Uh, we start with the command center, some cargo bay. Um, let's we move that at the end too. Half and life. So let's actually move those first. Four of these. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just add five of these. Now we'll construct the command center first. The half marshals, the life support the shields, the reactors, and as soon as this hits, the shield should start charging because the base is now operational. And then we get the fuel cell and gas extractor just in case we get that, and then we go for the weapons. And then the fighter bay, assault pot, then we add armors, um, and then the two docking bays, com commerce center, construction, and everything else. So that is uh, something that I would like to build over the various uh, area that we would like to control. And the so let's make sure these are manual upgrade because we do not want uh, uh, the the. Uh, the, the AI to design these for us so far. Now having those, zoom out a little bit. So this system should be fully uh, explored. And we have a few of these um, um, resources. We have our first targets over here. And I don't know if we can see anything in here yet but I assume that uh, they have not built much over here so my first priority is to come here and build our outpost that way they will be prevented from building anything um, and the colony will be pretty much 